and welcome back to another Minecraft adventure with me, Foxy Notel, here in my survival world. And today we're going to carry on from our mission to go to the end and take the Ender Dragon. The last episode, I can't even speak today. We're Let's start again. In the last episode, I built a minecart elevator using ma uh, males, me melons, and slime blocks. So I can tick that one off. And outside of the video, I uh, I did finish that off. I'll show you it in a moment. But before I do that, I'm going to use this sign that I've just stolen, and I'm going to go and put it on my tree of life. And the I'm adding two people to the Tree of Life today, and the two people are friends of Jack, my son, from his school, who often bump into me in the playground and say that they like my videos. So I'm adding Bailey and Izzy, and I'm, I hope I've spelt those right, but yeah, they're Jack's friends, so uh, welcome to my Tree of Life. Uh, and if you want to get on my Tree of Life, all you've got to do is uh, say something nice to me, or send me a nice comment, or or, uh, or a message, or, or whatever, and uh, yeah, you might just get added. So today, uh, I'll show you my what I've done quickly, but uh, we're going to have to go that way anyway. Um, because today we are going to be mucking about in the nether. We're going to be rearranging my nether portals. And the reason we're going to be doing that is because uh, over a long way that way is the um, end portal. And if you don't know, in the nether, for every, I think it's eight blocks you move. So let's do a little uh, diagram. So what have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So every, no, sorry, every one block you move in the nether, so one, it's actually equivalent to eight blocks in the overworld. So, uh, yeah, if you want to go across your world quickly, you can actually make a, um, a network of nether portals around your nether to be able to get around your world more quickly. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, I'm going to head this way. I'm going to go down. Look, I finished it off. You do bang your head a bit on the way back up, but we'll have a, have a quick go. And if you press that button, you drop down uh, and it doesn't hurt at all because you land on a slime block and it slows down just like that and you come back out again. Let's have another go going back up. So you press the button and whee, all this slime box pop out and then bang, you bang your head and land just nicely there. So uh, I, I think that's a job well done. I'm really happy with it, actually. It's, uh, it's something that... I thought it would be a little bit tricky to do, but it's worked out just nicely. So uh, some of the things we're going to need, we're going to need obsidian, which I've uh, collected quite a bit of. And we're going to need, uh, I should have some fire resistance potions somewhere, but they, they shouldn't be too much of a problem because I have actually already been to the nether and uh, started making some space uh, of where I want things. So the first thing I need to do is to actually go to my nether, so I need to go back up my amazing lift like this, do, 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 all the way to the top, and we'll go through into my nether room. Now, I am going to be moving this down into the bottom of uh, my little cave, uh, but for now, we're going to go, th we're going to use it to go through. So I've mapped out the coordinates, I know where I'm going to be heading, so the first thing is, this nether portal here, I don't like it where it is, it's right in the way, so I'm going to move it, uh, into this little chamber that I've made here and I'm going to put one there and the reason for that is that's actually going to match up a lot better uh, in my uh, in the area where I'm going to put it because at the moment that nether portal doesn't actually align up with where the other one is and it causes problems sometimes I uh, appear in a brand new nether portal uh, in the middle of nowhere which uh, isn't very good and he's going to be right in the way there so uh, that's really useful so we'll nip back through here uh, before we finish that one off because uh, I can't get to it because there's a pigman there and we'll come back through here We'll go back down this again and look how much use I'm getting out of this It's a good job. I made it otherwise imagine all the up up and down stairs running I'm going to be having to do so yeah that actually matches up almost exactly With this little area here that I've made so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna dig that there and dig that there and I'm gonna make another nether portal just here like um, this and that should then line up with the other one so what I need to do is I just need to I'm gonna make I'm going to make it look a little bit prettier because uh, it's a bit messy at the moment so have I got any smooth stone anywhere no I haven't I've got loads of cobblestone so let's stick a bit of this cobblestone in here and make some smooth stone and I'll use one of my lava buckets for that and uh, have we got any glass down here I bet we haven't so I might have to nip back up again and go and grab some glass because uh, yeah I'm gonna make it look very nice and pretty and we'll get some doors there as well and uh, it's a good job I've got this because all of this up and down and I'm doing uh, allows it allows me to get up and down from my mind very very quickly so that's very handy so we're gonna go in fact we'll 
we'll grab some smooth stone from here anyway. Uh, we'll get some glass like that. And we'll, we'll grab uh, some stone bricks as well, because they always look nice. So let's head back down again. Here we go again. Do, 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 oh, actually, while we're up here, it'd be worth getting some flint so we can make some flint and steel as well and light them. And hopefully when we go back to the nether, that, uh, that portal is going to be uh, clear now. That Hopefully the pigman has moved out of the way and cleared off. I, I would sort of whack him out of the way, but uh, there's a lot of pigmen around here and I don't really want to start a war with them at the moment. Oh, he's still in there, look. Uh, how are we going to get him out? If I... Oh, there we go. Thank you. He, he must have known what I'm up to. So if I now break the other one, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, if I break this one like that, then light this other one with my new flint and steel, then hopefully, 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 fingers crossed, I should appear in the new one that I've just made at the bottom of my world. So uh, here we go. And uh, no, I haven't. I've hit, ended up back here. Maybe if I break this one as well, um, that, that might help. Uh, you never know. So, th so that's completely broken now. There's no way that's going to work. Um, hopefully I won't just uh, appear somewhere completely random. Fingers crossed I won't. So we'll head back down here. Uh, we'll fix up this little area in front of that. And then we'll light this one and see if we end up back in the right place from that. But uh, at the moment, it's a little bit embarrassing that uh, it's not quite working. And I forgot to bring doors with me, but not to worry. So let's just make this look uh, a little bit nice and tidy like that. And we'll bring the wall out a little bit like this. And no, not there. We can break that one away. Let's move that torch there. In fact, let's just fill that roof bit in a little bit uh, and then, uh, yeah, that will make this look a little bit nicer. And then let's put some uh, glass around it that matches up with the glass that's on the floor, because I think that'll look nice. And a couple over the top there, and we'll put some doors there. And there we go. So that should now lead us through exactly where we want to be. And we shall find that out right now. So fingers crossed, we're going to land right where I've put that other portal. And yes, we have. It worked. So I need to run through that. And I'm very, very quickly going to uh, break away these other portals now. Uh, and hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully do that really quickly because I'm going to have to then go for a little bit of a trek through my nether uh, to where the next portal's going to be. And the next portal's going to line up with the end portal, uh, which is in my underground dungeon, which is quite a long way away in the overworld. And then we are going to have to go to the overworld to actually reach it uh, so that uh, we can pay, put the nether portal in the right place when we get there. So we'll, we'll lay this one here. We won't light it. Uh, then we'll go through into, uh, yeah, through back into the overworld. We'll go to th where the end portal is. We'll make an end portal in the right place there. Then we'll light that one. Hopefully we'll come back through into the nether in the right place. So fingers crossed that's all going to work out. So let's just uh, get rid of this one completely and we'll grab uh, the few bits and bobs that I've just dropped from that and we'll just tidy that hole up quickly that I've made there. I don't know if I've got any more of this uh, polished whatever it is down here. No, I haven't. So I've got one piece. Um, so we'll just we'll just fill that in with a bit of uh, nether rack for now because uh, at least it won't look too out of place. And then I can put the right bits in the right place later on. So then, uh, yeah. So now we're going to go this way up here and up here and up here and the reason we're going up is because it has to be on the right level as well so the height doesn't make any difference the height's the same in the overworld as it is in the nether so if you're on level let's say this is level uh, 36 then in uh, the overworld i'm also on level 36 but uh, i'm because i'm on uh, block x let's say i'm on block x 10 in the overworld that'll be block 80 to, so does that make sense so if you can just see coming through here, I've made an, another fancy little uh, nether portal area here. So we'll put a nether portal down there. We won't go through it because otherwise it's just going to end up somewhere completely random. Uh, so we don't want that. We want it to be exactly where we want it. So we'll pop that there like that. And then we'll go back this way, go to the overworld, and we're going to head over to our, our uh, end portal. Yeah. So... If you've not been watching my videos lately, I, I suggest you go back and have a look at some of those. There's been some interesting things going on. But uh, mainly, the main goal at the minute is to get ready to go to the end and fight the Ender Dragon. And it's not the only reason I want to go to the end. I'm also hopefully going to be getting some, uh, uh, yeah, the, the wings and things. So I'm going to have a good explore around the... Um, 
around the new end. I've not been to the end yet in this world, so hopefully it will spawn uh, in, like the new version, although I did make this world, uh, I think it was in like 1.7 when I made it, so I don't think the end will be uh, a 1.7 version, and it should be the 1.10 one, because I've not been to it yet. And if it doesn't, then I shall just go and uh, delete it from the folder and, uh, and try that again. Uh, let's close that off. We don't want that there. So if I go back through here like this... And hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to come out in the right one. There we are. So, uh, so that's a bit better now. So my uh, my end portal isn't uh, at the top of this building, too close to my house, making all that horrible noise. It's right down below in my mind where I want it to be. So let's go out of here. Let's jump this way, and we're going to go straight. We don't need all of this uh, stuff on us. So let's put a few of these bits away. We don't need the glass. Uh, we'll take the smooth stone, we'll take the brick, uh, we obviously need the uh, obsidian. So yeah, we'll just head there now. I, I did go on the horse last time. Oh, let's actually go to bed first because it's night time. Yeah, I went on my horse bandit last time to get there, but there's a lot of forests uh, over in that direction that uh, that he didn't like because he kept getting stuck in the leaves. So we're just going to go on foot this time and uh, avoid uh, getting stuck again because... There's nothing worse than uh, trying to get somewhere in a hurry and uh, just taking forever to get there because uh, because your horse is too tall and I'm getting shot at by a skeleton, but it doesn't matter. I am on a mission and look, I can dodge through the trees much easier than Bandit can. So I'm sorry, Bandit. I'll see you later on. So all I've got to do is just head and oh, look at this. Look how fast I can go through the water. I've got these depth strider boots from when I was doing a load of enchanting. So I can actually go through water now uh, just as almost as fast as I can uh, go on the land. And all also, if I go underwater, because I've got uh, Aqua Infinity on my helmet, I can breathe underwater for absolutely ages. So that will come in really handy if I ever find an ocean and if I ever find um, uh, what they're called. Uh, uh, the, uh, the Guardian place where you where you fight the Guardian and get uh, four pieces of gold, which is a, a rubbish, rubbish treasure uh, for all the hard work you have to go through to actually uh, to get it. But uh, yeah, it's something to do. It's something on my to-do list, but it's, it's nothing urgent. And considering I don't live anywhere near an ocean and bearing in mind how rare they are to spawn and you need a deep ocean, chances are, uh, actually chances are I probably never actually get round to it. But maybe one day, hopefully I'll do that. I would like to take everything off the list. And I I'd also like to take uh, killing the wither off the list, but getting with the skeleton heads is incre incredibly difficult. And I, I don't know. Uh, maybe you disagree with me on this, and uh, I, I don't know the, whether it's true or not. But I, I think my personal thoughts are that it's harder to do it on the PC version of Minecraft than it is on, uh, let's say, the console version, uh, because because the nethers are just so much bigger, and because the chances of wither spawning are are basically lower because uh, a it's further to go to to find your nether fortress but b the, the nether fortresses i don't know they just don't seem to spawn things as much as they do on the console if you play minecraft on the console and you go well you, you're pretty much guaranteed to spawn next to a nether fortress anyway um but yeah uh you just seem to see a lot of withers whereas on uh, pc version i don't know maybe it's just me maybe i have bad luck when i go there but I've never, ever, ever, ever got a wither skull head. All the years I've been playing Minecraft, and I've never, ever, ever got a wither skull head. And I, maybe if I got a, a sword with fortune on it, or something like that, or, or whatever it is, looting is it that you need, uh, maybe I'd have a bit more of a chance. But I think I, I'd probably end up spending a very, very long time uh, doing that. So I don't think that's probably going to happen uh, anytime soon either. But at least the Ender Dragon's not too difficult. All you need is uh, the Eyes of Ender, which I do need to collect. I've got a few. Uh, but I do need some more uh, and then obviously you need ender pearls once you're there as well but it's pretty easy to get ender pearls once you're there because there's a load of endermen there uh, and then we can uh, think about fighting uh, not fighting going through to an end city and seeing if we can find a ship and get myself some wings because I'd really like that I love using those wings it's great fun being able to sort of fly and drift and well I suppose it's not really flying it's more gliding but uh, yeah I think it's great so I'm hopefully going to do that and I'm I'm really hoping that I can remember where my end portal is because I didn't really mark it very well. Um, I know it's in this sort of direction. I seem to remember parking my horse somewhere around here uh, when I did it. Did I go through this cave? No, I don't, I don't remember going through a cave. Uh, and there's a dog here. Hello, doggy. I don't have any bones on me. Um, 
I must have gone down here somewhere. Uh, I, I mean, I can always dig down again, but it, I'd prefer to go down the bit I've already dug. Um, hmm, I did leave a fence post as well, or did I take the fence post with me when I brought the, the horse back? I don't know. Let's just uh, see if we can find the exact coordinates and, uh, and then just dig down from those. So it's minus six, uh, 684, which is about here. And then it is 813. So is that this direction? Yes, yeah, so I need to go a little way in this direction over here. So maybe I was in slightly the wrong place. Uh, maybe it was this little hill that I was nearby. So we'll go over here. We'll have a quick another look for my uh, where I went down. And if I can't find it, I'll just start digging down again. But it is handy to know that there's more dogs over here. Here's the fence post and here's where I went down. So uh, I've found it. I found where I came in. So yeah, what we're going to do when we get down here, we're going to go straight to where the end portal is, which I have uh, led myself to with all these torches, and uh, we're going to put the end portal inside here. So it's going to go uh, pretty much in line with this, so we'll make it uh, fit this, so we'll do a, a nice wide one if we've got enough, um, what's it called, uh, nether rack. Uh, so we'll do three across the bottom, three up the sides and three along the top. And there's no silverfish in any of those, which was handy. Uh, normally these places are teeming with silverfish. So have I got enough for that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, just exactly the right amount. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So uh, if I like that now, hopefully, he says with his fingers crossed, uh, I'm going to end up back in the nether where I made that other portal. So uh, this, uh, there's only one in there. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven eyes of Ender. And I think I've got something like seven already. So uh, yeah, I need to, to get me a few more Endermen. And there we are. Uh, I've, oh, actually, I shouldn't have appeared in that one. That's rather strange. Why has that happened? No. That's not good. I should have been at the other one. Oh no. Oh no, this is a disaster. Okay, let's go and light the other one in the nether and see if that takes me back to the end portal. I did actually uh, save this world, because I'm playing on Realms. I did save this world at, at the backup to my uh, to my computer, and I've already tried this um, once just to make sure it would work, and it worked perfectly. So I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure that this has uh, gone exactly the way I did it before, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm sure even if we uh, we have to end up coming back there. To be honest, coming back from the end of portal to that room is. Uh, preferred, I prefer that anyway than having to walk all this way. Uh, but if we can get to the end portal by going through this one, I would be very happy. If this one now takes us uh, back to our lab, um, or oh, sorry, our mine, then I should be a little bit upset. So let's uh, just jump through here and figure out, let's find out what will happen. Let's see where we end up. Are we at the end portal? Yes, we are. So that. Whew, whew. Oh, I was really worried there. So at least, yeah, we can get to the end portal and this uh, nice underground mine shaft very, very quickly. So uh, I'm going to just nip home now. And that's about it for today's video. So, uh, yay, it's brought us back to the right one, which we've got a little bit of a walk. So as I'm walking home, I'm going to say the usual, uh, which is thank you all very much for watching. Um, if you want to leave a like, that would be appreciated to let me know that you're enjoying watching the videos. And if not, don't worry about it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!